Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how I make raw living hemp milk from sproutable hemp seeds. This is part of the Tennessee Research Hemp Pilot Program. And this is part of the research I'm doing is on beverages made from the industrial hemp plant. A plant that has been banned from public use since 1937. But we are finally getting to grow and use it here in Tennessee and trying to build a hemp market. So in this video, I'll be demonstrating how I make hemp milk and I'll be making a vanilla flavored sweet hemp milk that you can either drink by itself, add to, you know, cookies or baked recipes, anything you would use milk with, or my favorite thing to do is use it as a base for making smoothies. So I basically get everything. The hemp seed is the number one nutritional health balanced food there is on the face of the earth for our bodies. It regulates, it regulates everything in your body. It's helped change my life. But this right here is the most powerful version of it because these seeds have been soaked for over 24 hours release their enzyme inhibitors they're starting to sprout little tails if you go about 48 hours they'll they'll almost all start sprouting tails which makes it a living milk different than raw it is raw still but it's living most of the other hemp milks or any hemp milk you buy in the store it's it's not living and that does make a huge difference on the way you feel so I'm going to get to this and demonstrate how I do the whole entire process. So I got this bag of hemp seed right here. It's the Kanda variety of hemp. One of the four varieties that we're growing here in Tennessee. And I got an empty mason jar. I'm going to fill half of this mason jar up with hemp seeds. about like that right there this will make approximately about a gallon of milk I'm gonna soak these for 24 hours my dog he loves hemp follows me wherever I go Alright, so there I got a mason jar soaking of hemp seeds right there. That's what these were doing yesterday, 24 hours ago. So now, tomorrow, this will be ready for the same process. I do make hemp milk either every day or every other day. So once they get in this process, they're ready to go. You just clean them off. They're nice and clean. And they're ready to be made into one of the most best drink mixtures there is I'm telling you hemp milk you drink it for just two or three days your skin starts feeling different dry skin does not exist if you consume this every day or it sure don't for me all right so i'm gonna take the hemp seeds here i'm gonna dump them in to my blender try not to spill them everywhere on the kitchen counter get off there all right we got a blender loaded up with hemp seeds now normally right here I like to use spring water but I don't have any spring water right now I'm so busy I haven't been able to go harvest any but spring water does make the best base for any milk if you're making milk uh, but right now I'm gonna do with what I got which is just regular old tap water probably the worst but Hopefully the benefits of the health seeds will outweigh whatever is in my tap water. We'll hope. If not, I'll deal with the consequences later. So there I got a full thing that's going to make about a half a gallon of hemp milk. Now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this sea salt. 
I like to mix just a little bit so it adds a little bit more flavor to the milk but not a whole lot just a little bit there paint straining bag is what I use they do got some better milk bags you can use for seeds and nuts right now I just use a paint straining bag it works just fine I double strain it though to make sure I get everything squeeze this squeeze all the pulp out I take all the pulp and throw it in my garden for compost I have a garden that is composted of so many hemp seeds it's unbelievable but I'm gonna get to squeezing this That's all you do, really. Just squeeze it, squeeze all the milk out, act like you're milking a big cow thing. Except this is Mary's milk right here. The best fats in the world, all your omega 3s and 6s, essential amino acids. You got it all. And then, especially. You mix this with smoothies, I mean, you really got a super drink. Especially when it's living hemp milk. I mean, it's just, your body is so acceptable to it. And then you start craving it. But most people's never had it. We grew up in a society where we didn't, we haven't had stuff like this. We grew up on pasteurized, homogenized milk. I know I did. I drank so much milk, it was unbelievable. I'm going to respray these seeds because there's still a lot left in there that needs to be gotten out. My dog is patiently waiting beside me because he likes to drink hemp milk like crazy. I can put a bowl of food down, he won't always eat it. I can put water down, he won't always drink it. Every time I put hemp milk down, he drinks every bit of it, licks the bowl all the way across the whole room, make sure that he gets it all. He really loves hemp milk. Both my dogs do. But my puppy dog here, he loves hemp milk. So I try to keep him on it a bowl a day. And he's a happy dog. Alright, hemp milk is squeezed, now that's step one, then you got to flavor the milk, because right now you just got a, uh, just a normal hemp milk, which for a lot of people, people with diabetes, that can't have sugar and stuff like that, that right there, that's, that's what you want, you know, hemp's been known to regulate blood sugar levels, so you don't want to add sugar to it, you want it to do what it can do but if you do add sugar and you do got problems you can drink you can drink some of it because the hemp is still working to regulate even though you're putting extra sugar in your body it's, especially when it's in this living form where the seeds have been sprouted it's, it's so much more powerful I can't express that enough you know most of uh, the milks that places make today they're pasteurized they're just they're better than a lot of the cow milks and stuff like that but they're not they're not what they could be 
the almond milks. You can't even buy sproutable seeds. You know, we got a law passed by the government. I mean, all almonds are pasteurized already. So, I mean, it just takes away a lot from a lot of the benefits. Don't it, Cash? Patient, patiently waiting on the hemp milk, ain't you? You ready for it? Just sitting there. You ready for the hemp milk? I'll pour you a little bit of the regular before I sweeten it. It's best for dogs not to have too much sweet things. Oh, I spilt some. We'll see if he cleans the floor. Every time, he'll drink every bit of it. Is it good, boy? Floor licking good. Cash the hemp dog. Coming straight at you. We make him hemp milk here in Tennessee. We used to feed animals with it. You know, there's a lot of history on cattle and stuff being fed, fed off hemp. Um, here's a pit bull. He always cleans his bowl. There's never been a time he has not cleaned his whole entire bowl of hemp milk. Some people say, well, a dog will eat and drink anything. That's not true. It's not true. You own dogs, you know that. They'll eat and do a lot of things, yeah. But when you can put down the food he eats every day constantly, and sometimes he won't eat it, every time you put down the hemp milk, it's, it's this same exact thing. And this will go on for a few minutes. He'll just keep licking, licking, licking. He'll get it all up. He'll move his bowl across the whole entire kitchen when he's done. He'll be back.